test one, two. I'll just grab your name first. Uh, my name is Lucas. What's your last name? Queeton. Just spell that for me. K-V-E-T-O-N. Okay. So how much, have you been back to your home yet? I haven't actually been back to my property yet, but I've, I've seen it from the other side of the river. And what have you found out? I found out that I lost uh, my chicken coop and my tool shed and my pump house. My house and my garage and my guest house are completely unharmed. And how, how are you feeling about all that? Uh, pretty great, actually. It's very overwhelming like, to have gone through all this. Like, it's just so much so quick, right? Like, within 10, 15 minutes, it was from the trailer park here all the way to my house. Like, it just took right off. The wind was blowing pretty crazy. Like, the fire down b- behind my garden, I tried to put out with two fire extinguishers, and then I had to get out of there just because there's lots of trees overhanging the driveway that I didn't want to burn and not be able to get out of there, right? How, just, how worried were you that you'd lost your house for a while? I was pretty concerned for a few days there until I found out that it was still standing. And so what was it like that just not knowing for those that time? It was just overwhelming, like, such a, like, just mind-boggling. You don't really know what's going on, like, if your house is still there, if all your property is still there. I didn't know if my chickens were still alive, like, my livestock, my I didn't know my garden, like, lots of stuff that I had there was, could have been gone, like, completely devastated, but and very... The, and tell me how you found out you were that your house was okay. I had actually uh, gone on the internet and looked on Google Chrome Live and accessed it through there and just zoomed in on the property and seen the house and everything was still there, but, like, like I said, my chicken, chicken coop and my tool shed were completely gone, my pump house was burnt to the ground, just the well, the concrete well casing was there, so... So Google Chrome Live, is that like a live satellite feed that updates? It's, or? yeah, every day or every 24 hours or something, it'll update once. So, yeah, I was able to check that out. Wow, that's pretty, pretty tech savvy to know to do that, I guess, eh? Yeah, well, actually, my girlfriend had mentioned it. So she had mentioned it, and then I was at my buddy's house in the Soyuz where I'd been staying, and he was like, go ahead, use the computer and check it out if you want. So, so your house is safe, but it sounds like you have some loss for sure. What, how does that feel? Uh, It's pretty sh- like shitty i lost like i'm pretty sure i lost a couple kayaks and my generator chainsaw like my my chickens i'm pretty sure are still alive because i left them out and my yard wasn't burnt at all so but just my tools like stuff that i won't be able to replace unless it's covered by insurance do you have fire insurance on those sheds i i don't know i'm just a rental i'm just a rental so i i'm have to talk to the landlord and go from there but did you have any other animals other than the chickens i had like- uh my four dogs with me so i had got them in the car and my girlfriend like I started hooking up sprinklers and stuff around the house right away and then told her to pack clothes so we can get out of there and then packed all the clothes and got out of there after I tried to tried to put out the fire but it wasn't containable so I got out of there before I couldn't get out of there right now this is your first day back since all the fire how, how did it feel coming home and, and, and back in the town and seeing all that smoke and just getting into this truck goes by It was, it was pretty devastating, like, seeing everybody else's homes. Like, it, it's very tragic for other people that have lost their homes. Like, there's everything burnt around here. Like, it was huge, big fire. Some of your neighbors, people in your neighborhood will have lost? Yeah, there's definitely, like, a couple of the people that live right beside me have lost their homes. My neighbor, like, on this side has lost his house completely. It's, like, burnt right to the ground. It's very tragic. Like, nothing you can do, though, right? It's one of nature's tragedies, for sure, like. You can't control it at all. Like, it's a good thing that we have the cops and the fire department here to help and put all this out. What do you uh, What do you think this is going to do to the community? You know, once once you know from here on out. Well, I'm I'm sure the community will pull together and kind of help each other out, build, rebuild, and clear all the property. That I'm sure there's lots of deadfall and lots of trees, stuff that's got to be removed. Like, I'm sure everybody will pull together. Hopefully. Now, uh, and how are you feeling about being out of your place? Uh, what's it like all, day after day of just not being able to be home? It's a bit much. You know, you just want to go home and sleep in your own bed at the end of the day. And like, it's nice to know that my bed's there and everything. But people don't have that, right? So it's you kind of feel sad and upset for other people. Like, it's just so overwhelming. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's just mind-boggling, really. Are you anxious to get back in there? I am actually. I just I just picked up fifty chickens. They came the day like day old chicks. They came the, the Friday, like the day after it happened. So I was like, where am I gonna put these? But my buddy in Asoyes has a farm, so I just kept them there. Yeah. So I guess you want to rebuild. Uh, yeah, what I'm gonna. You've lost I'm gonna have to rebuild my chicken coop and probably my tool shed as well at some point. I'm sure the insurance people have to come in and check it all out first before I can rebuild, right? So. 
Anything else I haven't asked you that you think is important to say or anything you'd like to add? I'm not sure. Oh, you probably kept it at home? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, thanks very much for, yeah, your, your interview.